Creative Resume Part 2. Um, this is where you're going to be working in. You can use Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. It's your choice. I'm going to be demoing an Illustrator today just because that's the one I feel more comfortable in. Um, if you're looking at the rubric, most of the stuff is going to be on your section. So having, you know, the contact information, education se section, experience, and skills and interests. And then the rest of it's going to be on grammar and spelling, style and appearance, um, design layout, and then the two correct files to upload. So if, you, if I did an Illustrator file, you know, I would say .ai, and then I would have a PDF also of that document. Um, if I did in Photoshop, I would have a .psd, and then a PDF file, all right, for that upload. All right, so let me go into, um, the first thing I would do is look up examples. I have some on my computer currently right now. There's a bunch of different stylings of um, this creative resume. It just depends on your style and what you like. So again, I'm just going to kind of go through these um, quickly. Again, if you notice, a lot of it's shapes. So again, if you feel like you're not going to be able to do something like this, again, look at it. It's a lot of shapes, a lot of text, and that's something that you can do. Like this one here, I'd probably say it's probably done in Photoshop. But this stuff like this, I would say probably Illustrator and um, Illustrator and InDesign. So again, if you look at this one, it looks super complex. But again, look, it's a lot of rounded rectangles, little some icons that they picked up for them online, rectangles, lines, right? Here's a triangle with a rounded rectangle. Again, a lot of this bar graphs are going to be, again, um, rectangles, different skills. Um, I do like seeing these like bar graph styles. I wouldn't put anything on here that you are horrible at. So for example, if you're not good at InDesign and you want to put it like way down here, uh, I would just not put InDesign on there. All right. Uh, it just depends on uh, what skills you have using those icons, which you can easily pull from Google Images. Um, depending on what you want to, instead of typing out the word phone number or email, you can get those little icons. Having some kind of organization. Uh, again, there's so many different styles. This one right here, I would not recommend just because of the size of it. I would recommend that you keep it with an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. This one right here would print funny if someone would go to print it from an online upload. So uh, it looks good if it, you had it on like a website, but again, if you had to upload this to a interview or job and they went to go print it off and it print off funny, they might not understand it. So a few more here, some clip art with some with shapes, text, again, more shapes. This one is just a... Um, you know, the background, they found a picture of the notebook paper and then, you know, some they downloaded some fancy fonts and, you know, kind of did it like that style or clean lined. But again, like this one, big rectangle, little rectangles, right? Um, so again, there's all different kinds of stylings. Oh, this one's a little small, right? For those of you who are um, my anime people that like to do different kinds of drawings, there's all different kinds of stylings. So what I would look at in Illustrator first, um, let me get it launched. Of course, this will probably take a while. I guess I can close these out while I wait. And those are just a few. I would look at Google Images, honestly, and just type in Creative Resume and see what pops up. All right, so I'm going to say Create New. I'm going to go to print. I want to say letter. I change mine to inches just in case I have to use the ruler for something. The spinny wheel of death. You can do it. It's Friday. It doesn't like me. All right, so here's my page. Um, and so again, if I feel like I'm going to be using a lot of shapes, maybe I'm going to break off that right um, and then maybe I separate my page up first so maybe use that rounded rectangle and kind of break up my sections me fill it in with a random color I 
Okay, now again, I'm a big fan of copying and pasting. So I'm going to use my align tool to make sure that that is aligned. And then I'm going to copy and paste this twice. All right, and then as you saw, it kind of aligned with this bottom one, but I'm just going to double check. Hope that one's not touched. We'll find out here in a second. Oop, to the bottom. All right, and I have this third one. So it shows me with those little gaps, but if again, if you don't see that, another way to do it is highlight all three of these. I'm going to justify it all to the one side. And then if I go to Window Align, there is this Distribute Spacing. So it, then it just makes sure that your spacing between each the, one of these is going to be the same. All right, I'm just using green just so you can see it, the contrast. Again, this is just one style, all right? Um, there's so many different styles like you saw. Um, if you're going to do like a bar graph, right, say that this, this is my skill level. Let me turn it black. And then I'm going to come and copy and paste. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Stack it right on top. Maybe change the color to red. But maybe this one's my Photoshop skills. Again, I'm just kind of rushing through this. Maybe this is my InDesign skill. And this is my Illustrator skill. And then I would label it down here, maybe with the icons for Photoshop and Illustrator and those software that you know. Um, again, that's, again, I'm, I draw at really large. And then once I feel like I like it, I may shrink it down to how big I need it for that document. I'm also going to get rid of that outline. All right. Um, but again, font's pretty important. I use dafont.com, um, but there's a lot of free fonts out there. If, if you looked at my text right now, As you can see, I have so many different kinds of specialty fonts. You know, just depending on what you're working on. Maybe, you know, it just depends. Okay. But the, the hardest part is just trying to decide your styling on it um, and then getting your page set up. You should already have the information typed up in Word so you can easily copy and paste your information from the Word document that you turned in on Sunday. Um, to this information, so getting it all set up is going to be the hardest part. Um, but again, find some examples, find some inspiration. I re highly recommend using the Align tool if you're in Photoshop or Illustrator. I use it all the time. Um, and so again, font is really important. It can make your stand out. Coloring, make sure your color themes are appropriate. And then also just your styling of everything. So hopefully that kind of helps you with the second part of the creative resume. All right, have a good day.